Hello and welcome to module 9 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3, Website Settings. This section is quite large and can get complex, so we've broken it down into units that correspond to the tabs we'll see in the Website Settings section of the dashboard. This video covers Unit 1, Website Appearance. I will walk you through all of the ways you can begin to customize the look of your journal website. Let's get started. We begin on the journal homepage and access our user dashboard from the top right corner. Then we go to settings and select website. The first tab is appearance, and this is where we'll modify and adjust all the visual aspects of our journal. This tab is divided into three subsections. Let's start with theme. In this section, we can select a theme. OJS 3.3 has three prepackaged themes. For now, let's stick to the default theme. Then, you can select the font style that will be used in the website. For simplicity, I'm going to use Noto Sounds, but I encourage you to explore and select your favorite. After that, you can also choose the header banner color. If you know the hex value of your preferred color, you can input it into the box. You can also drag the gradient bar and select a color. Different web browsers and screens have different capabilities when it comes to color display, and we recommend going through the hex code of colors that have been identified as optimal for websites in order to ensure a consistent visual experience for all your visitors. In the next section, we can check on the box to enable the journal summary on the homepage, and we can also set a homepage image as the header background. When we're satisfied with the changes, we can just click on Save. The next tab is the setup. First, we'll upload a logo. We can either drag the file up to this area or click on the Upload File button. Once the image is uploaded, we can write the alt text to describe the image for visitors viewing the site in a text-only browser or with assistive devices. You can also upload a journal thumbnail that will appear as a representation of your journal in a list of publications, and a homepage image to be featured prominently on your homepage. This will be the first thing that appears in the body of the main page of our journal. Then, we can set some permanent content in the page footer. This will show at the bottom of every page of our journal. The sidebar management allows you to change or reorganize the content that appears on the journal site navigation bar. The sidebar list indicates what is currently in the sidebar and the order in which it appears. If a block is unselected, it will not show on the sidebar, but could be added by clicking on the box. We can also change the sidebar order by dragging and dropping the blocks. When we have finished, we can click on Save. The last section of the appearance settings is advanced. If you have an experienced web developer working on your team, you are welcome to leverage their expertise and upload a custom CSS file using the journal style sheet area. Finally, if your journal has a fab icon, it can be uploaded here and it will appear in web browser navigation bars and in tabs beside your journal's name. If there is any permanent content you would like to have appear on your journal homepage, such as a welcome message or a brief introduction to the journal, you can input it into the additional content rich text editor. When you are satisfied with the changes, you can just click on save. Now, let's view your journal and see how the changes have manifested in our websites. First, you can see the change banner color and the added local image to our website's header. The sidebar has also changed. In our homepage body, the first item that we see is the homepage image. Near the bottom of the page, we can see the content that we set in the additional content section. And finally, we can see the footer that we saved. Now, let's head back to our dashboard and take a look at some of other theme options. From the theme drop down menu, select Bootstrap 3 Base Theme. Then, a new menu of themes will appear under the drop down menu. 
We won't go over all of the different bootstrap theme options, but there's a lot of variety between them and I encourage you to explore and test them out. Let's take a look at the default bootstrap theme. We'll keep all of the other elements we set previously so that we can compare how they get rearranged in the new theme. Let's click on the Save button and visit our website. All the elements we set are still there, but this layout gives your page a totally different look and feel. This concludes our walkthrough of the website appearance. We highly encourage you to explore this section and experiment with the different elements. There are many ways to customize your journal and to help it look its best. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next unit.